Under the Obama administration, the Pentagon has begun classifying evangelical fundamentalist Christians as terrorists or hate groups. Why? Because they oppose homosexuality, accept the Bible as the infallible word of God, believe that Jesus is the only way to God, and would put their faith before their country. Well, that's according to a new poll that suggests that American Christians, unlike Muslims, are likely to put their faith before their country. Because of this, the military has begun indoctrinating incoming recruits with the same philosophy, a soldier undergoing a briefing or indoctrination session on terrorists and hate groups took a picture of the groups listed as religious extremism. And guess what group was at the top of the list? Number one, U.S. Evangelical Christianity. Number three, ultra orthodox Judaism. And number four, U.S. Christian Identity. Number 10, U.S. Catholicism. See, U.S. Christianity and Catholicism is heavily influenced by fundamentalist principles. Although worldwide, Catholicism openly integrates religions of the indigenous people, this is not as prevalent in the United States. No doubt, Christians worldwide are facing extreme persecution, martyrdom, and gruesome torture. Believe this, it is coming to America, and the bride of Christ must awaken and prepare herself to stand for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, you might be surprised who else is calling fundamentalist Christians terrorists, the Pope. That's right. In an interview with the Spanish La Vanguardia magazine in June 2014, Pope Francis said, a fundamentalist group, although it may not kill anyone, although it may not strike anyone, is violent. The mental structure of fundamentalists is violence in the name of God, end quote. He just said that fundamentalists are actually mentally insane. Even if a fundamentalist is peaceful, like Christians, their lack of inc inclusiveness is an act of violence against the establishment of a peaceful, harmonious society, which can only be built on tolerance. Indirectly, one can conclude that Christian fundamentalism is a thought crime of intolerance, which is the source of violence. Believing that Jesus is the only way to God, the Father, is a criminal thought of violence. Let's watch this BBC talk show on religion, and we'll see another Catholic priest echo the same philosophy of anti-fundamentalist Christian doctrination. Listen, this is this. It says this is all in the Bible, isn't it? It's in yes, Revelations it's in and Thessalonians, and it's in. It's in Revelation. John. It's in Thessalonians. Yeah. It's in the Book of John. Yeah. What happens then? What happens during the th there's a thousand year a thousand year period? What happens then? Yeah, there's a period of thousand years, and the thousand years begins at the coming of Christ. He comes to take those, like I said, who have been saved by His grace, mm -hmm. and those who have not accepted Christ, because God gave us. He gives everybody the provision to accept the salvation that he offers free of charge. He's offered salvation free of charge for those who accept it. So it's not just Seventh-day Adventists. Not just Seventh-day Adventists. It's open to everyone. Everyone who's accepted Christ, but not Muslims or Hindus or... Sikhs. Well, I haven't Sikhs. accepted him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Christ, he, he makes a statement or in the Jews, book... Jews, they're not... No, no he, no. Makes, a statement, a he makes a statement in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 6. Right. Uh, he says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. But he only takes those who so believe in him. It, how, how, I'm how, the way, the truth. What about hand? children? I'm the never... way, the truth. What about... I'm the, sorry, I'm coming. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. No one comes onto the Father right. except through me. Except it's a radical statement. It's a, it is a radical statement. It's a radical statement. It's an okay. statement. It, 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 it's a radical statement. It's a radical statement. Tell me about that. What would you like to say? Sorry, let me just finish. Okay. So what I say is that salvation salvation comes through only Christ mm. salvation comes through him so okay okay so but we, 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 him, we've, got a, we've got a we've got a vision we've got a vision if that's the right word of what what's going to happen and it's in the bible it's Sorry, oh, wait, is, well, no it's in the bible uh, it's fundamentalism we're talking about and fundamentalism produces problems in all major world religions and it produces fun, it produces problems in christianity hey, you and this you're, is you're, a you're cherry picking this is a Stephen. fundamentalist interpretation of scripture which actually misunderstands a very poetic piece of writing in the book of revelation it misunderstands Paul's view that the kingdom was coming immediately not in 
a thousand, two thousand years time, but that was, we now know, a misunderstanding of Paul and the early Christians. They thought Christ was coming back again. We now work on an entirely different basis in the mainstream. It's in the New Testament. But so what? There are things in the New Testament, Nikki, which we actually have to reinterpret in the light of biblical criticism and modern understanding of scripture. And this fundamentalist approach doesn't work anymore. Okay, cool. it's, it's well, folks, you've heard it said over and over. Those that truly believe the word of God are the problem. They're troublemakers, ignorant, insecure, mentally insane, and violent terrorists. Of course, there's only one thing to do with a problem, and that's remove it. And that's their next step. But Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit has prevented their efforts. But serious persecution is coming to America. But they won't stop trying. Oprah has assembled a team comprised of an apostate pastor, African priestess, authors of Eastern mysticism, New Age, and Hindu gurus to spread this Antichrist doctrine across America and the world. It's called the Life You Want Tour. For the first time ever, Oprah's The Life You Want Weekend, an electrifying two-day live event. The ultimate question is, why are we all here? Join Oprah live on stage with her hand-picked team of life trailblazers. All of us have been called, and I am here to share my calling with you. Awake to your full potential and find the courage to live it. Join Oprah's The Life You Want Weekend. Live the fullest expression of yourself. Go to Oprah.com slash tour. Tickets are on sale now. Exactly. How will Oprah and company help people reach their full potential? Let's watch this video and learn more about the experience. I know that so many people are going through so many challenging situations. So many things that you once considered to be a permanent part of your life is dissolving. Relationships are ending. Job situations are ending. Life, as you know it, is ending. And there is something greater emerging. My whole world changed overnight. Um, this was a very intense, very fast awakening for me. Of a spiritual awakening. Okay, hello YouTubers. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Did you tell somebody that you believe that there are angels that, um, that exist and they look at you like you're crazy. But this was my wake up call. An experience that happened. And I would love to share with you my journey of spiritual awakening. 20 years ago it wasn't, even 15 years ago, but now it's become part of our culture. Um, ascension symptoms. And many people are having experiences and they don't know what they're called. They don't know what they are. I can feel energies now. Changes are occurring. New experiences. I realize that I'm more than just a body. Way and out of the body experiences, thousands of responses yielding incredible conclusions. 18,000 participants. Your body is beginning to awaken. You are spiritually manifesting light. Because we're not physical beings. Always, I thought it was just a dream. Always, it's just a dream. And then I would dream uh, the future, things would happen, and I'd say, oh, it's just my brain making things up. And I would always dismiss it. Uh, but it was going too fast, and I shot out the top of my head. As soon as I shot out the top of my head, there was absolutely no fear. There was a complete sense of peace. Right now, we're spiritually evolving that when these changes occur, don't fight them. I felt this presence coming at me uh, from underneath, uh, from inside, from above. It was like rumbling through me, and, 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 the, and the presence was pure love but it literally seized control uh, over my body. This power of love was just building and, and it was getting so strong, I, was, uh, I felt the urge to cry. So I used the only words I'd ever heard my mom use, which is, God, please help me. And uh, because I, I felt this must be God.
there is an awakening happening. Yeah. That there was no pain and discomfort. I was just kind there of was no distraction. So content there. We have the opportunity to see a much fuller, much richer experience of life. Welcome to our very first live worldwide interactive event. We are here tonight breaking new ground. Nothing like this has ever been attempted before. Right now, you all are online with me from every corner on our planet. Places like Albania, Bolivia, Cambodia, Ecuador, where 139 countries are represented in our class tonight. Welcome to you all. I don't think there's anything more important than awakening and also knowing what your purpose is. I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment of the universe. I was the universe. And I want to take as many people with me as I possibly can. With me as I possibly can. Welcome to a new world. A new world. What is happening to you is an awakening. What is happening to you is one of the greatest things that can happen to any human being. And although at this time it may seem very dark, know that a very bright light is about to emerge inside you. So basically, the new earth is about rejecting God the Father, Jesus the Son of God, and the Gospel of Jesus Christ. And the awakening is about allowing yourself to be possessed by demonic spirits. It's not a hidden agenda, and their goal is blatant. They have declared themselves to be an enemy of God and His Christ. Everything about these deceivers are centered around destroying all things pertaining to God and making a mockery of the Gospel of Jesus. Guess who's responsible for the TV show Preachers of LA on the Oxygen Network? Oprah. You're probably not surprised, given her open declaration against Jesus Christ. Oprah is one of the founders of the Oxygen Network. To them, shows promoting extreme female promiscuity, homosexuality, lesbianism, and the mockery of the gospel is great educational television and entertainment. Should these pastors form an unholy alliance with deceivers? Considering what we know about the agenda of Oprah and company, their anti-God, anti-Christ, and anti-fundamentalist Christian rhetoric, their involvement in the demonic, promotion of the anti-Christ spirit, glamorization of sexual perversion and spiritual darkness, should pastors invite workers of iniquity to partake in their ministry and collaborate with the enemies of the cross of Christ? What does the scripture say? In Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, Beware lest any man spoil you through vain philosophy and deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. <laughs> 